Howdy everybody, Harrison Howe here. TikTok is where I first got my art exposure and it's changed my life in a lot of really great and positive ways. So why am I saying that TikTok hates artists? It's not some personal vendetta and I'll break it down in just a second. Whether or not you're an artist, you've probably posted to social media and have been not stoked with the results at some point. And to those of you that don't post on social media, congrats, that's awesome. What are you doing on YouTube? Maybe go back outside and live your best life. But to the rest of us who are chronically online or at least partially online, but what we should talk about is the proliferation of three things I see as common themes that artists have to deal with on social media. Specifically, the hellscape that is TikTok. Number one is artists can't make what they want. Number two, you have to add or heighten drama in order to get the views that you already deserve. Number three, brands equal clout. When brands equal clout, people end up making free stuff for brands all the time, and I don't know how I feel about that. Now, real quick disclaimer, we're here to support artists. Don't leave any hate comments on these art pages that I'm talking about. That's not the point of this. I'm here to uplift artists and just talk about the craziness that is social media. Somebody asked me the other day, would you be making this if it wasn't for social media? Obviously, a lot of what I do is for social media, is for the views, but I also just love making art and sharing it with y'all. And so it's a balance to strike between pleasing the algorithm and making the art you like and finding that Venn diagram between what your audience actually likes and relates to and your own art. There's a lot of nuance in this, but I wanted to showcase problems that I see with the current social media landscape. Okay, so what happens when you look up art on TikTok and you filter by the most liked things? You get a lot of the same stuff. It's wild. What TikTok showcases and promotes is absolutely not what these artists are wanting to create a lot of times. First of all, this is hilarious because when you filter by art, top views, last six months, or it's not even an art video. Yeah, maybe the guy's reaction is art, but that's just a bowling video from someone random. Another one of these top videos is this sad thing. Somebody like saying that when you grow up, you have to give up art. No, that person is all sorts are wrong. You can keep your hobbies as an adult. It's completely okay to keep your hobbies. Okay, so I found two of these videos and they're basically the same piece of art and they're in the top six videos when you look up art. I think it's really interesting that these videos don't necessarily reflect what the person actually wants to be making. So let's dive into it and check out this one. I think it's pretty creative. Yeah, I couldn't wait to become an artist so that I could spin around and show my paintings off. Okay, so the back of the canvas looks like the front of the canvas. The person painted to basically make a see-through canvas. Pretty creative. But when you look at what they're actually trying to make and promote for their art, it's kind of a bummer, honestly. I think this piece is way cooler. It's still got a nice hook, got nice intros. Ultimately, this is a very well done piece of art. Sure, it's not for everyone, but why is it only for 63 people, including me? Don't you think that their audience of 23,000 people would at least like to see what they're painting. Now this next one, revealing my art until it goes viral day 50. It's the backside of the canvas again. They had to work on their lighting, they had to get the angle of the light right so the shadow would make sense. Obviously a lot of work went into this. Exactly what the last person did, it's in the top six most trending art videos or most liked art videos on TikTok and it doesn't even match their style. The rest of their videos are incredibly in-depth portraits. It doesn't seem like they want to be painting this. And I mean, maybe they do. Maybe these people want to create art like this. And with these two accounts, the views on their other art is so low. They so deserve more exposure on everything they're making. And it should just be a little bit more consistent rather than a one-off viral and then just studio silence from their entire audience. This next person understood the assignment. They went viral asking why something would go viral that's like this and so simple. The rest of their art is a lot better, honestly, in my opinion. But this is the thing that pops off. I just think it's an indication that TikTok sort of hates art and would rather just promote something that's super relatable, kind of funny. They would rather have somebody just get a little hit of dopamine and scroll on rather than actually invest in anything that's valuable. Going along with this sort of trend of Artists don't get to post what they like or don't get views on what they actually like to make. Their most liked video, their most adored and viewed video ever is them creating absolutely nothing at all. It's just them experiencing art block. 
let's take a look. Yeah, maybe art's just a hobby. It's just so weird to me that their top liked video, their most seen video is not even their art. It's just them saying, maybe it's just a hobby. To me, this looks like a full art account. So how could it possibly be a hobby if it's literally their entire page and they've got thousands of followers? To me, it looks more than a hobby. Here's another example of one that was in the top 10 most liked videos for art under TikTok. And what is it? It's them stopping drawing? That stinks. Why is it not more evenly distributed? Why is it just a one viral? Why is it just? The reason I think things like this trend beyond the fact that they're relatable and everyone's experienced art block is because TikTok would rather promote something that is literally nothing. Let's check out some of the other stuff that these two creators have made. In their profile, they literally say they want their freedom. To me, that means that they can't escape the algorithm. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of anime or the anime art style, but I think that seriously, this deserves a lot more likes and views than a blank page. A blank page doing better than their actual art? That is absurd to me. Now, people tapping into trends or making fun of trends to get views, I think that's great. But when the result is that the rest of their art doesn't get any of the clout that it deserves or, or likes that it deserves, I don't think it's worth it. Ultimately, this person got millions of views, tons and tons of likes, on maybe one of their less aspirational posts. I like the rest of their art and I think their art style is pretty cool. But ultimately, this is their top video. This is what's pinned. This is what was promoted. And it means that the exposure on their real art wasn't there. Now us artists, we know that we have to tap into trends. And one of those trends is ruining your art for views. And I totally respect this hustle because I've definitely spilled on a few pieces of my art just to showcase it a little bit more. Ruining art for views is a new classic. Here's Mel's art top video. They're just absolutely scribbling all over this piece. It's pretty funny. But when you look at the rest of their videos that are just as quality of realism, but don't have that ruining aspect or any sort of drama, they're left hanging with the views. Here's another example of an artist who had to ruin their art to get any views. This also taps into using brands for your art clout. It's just sort of a two in one, you know? Yeah, that one's a little bit older. But I think it's interesting that their top video is still one that's just ruined art. Like maybe they absolutely love Marvel. That's great for them. But they're so talented. They could be making literally anything, but they're making free brand promotion and they're ruining their art for views. And that's just a bummer. Now we're going to get into the realm of heightened drama just to get a few eyes on your art. <laughs> The final result is kind of insane, and this person is clearly a talented painter, but shouldn't they just get the recognition for the beautiful painting rather than have to add all this weird drama? I would just rather scroll across something that's gorgeous than have to deal with this weird storyline in order to get any sort of views. So let's see some of the other start stuff that they've made that's been successful. <laughs> For 10k likes, they painted their entire room and cut off their bangs and got another person to like basically fake abuse them. Like that's wild. Meanwhile, Nutella strawberries be like, this next video is the trifecta. So no wonder it went viral. It hits ruined art. It hits heightened drama. It hits brand recognition. Let's check it out. Hey, I'm sorry somebody smudged your sidewalk art. That stinks. But why was that the only one that went viral? And no hate, if you like making Disney art, that's totally cool. I mean, everybody has their different style and I, I don't wanna disrespect any artists or what they naturally wanna make. I just think it's really interesting what TikTok chooses to promote when there's so much great art out there. You know what I mean? Hey, subscribe for more art rants.